It's called it's called Big City Radio. What? what? Big City Radio. Why don't you come trick or treating with us? Trick or treat! Come on, give us some candy. <laughs> Good Life Morning Show, Big City, 101.3 FM, Val Beats, Il Neil, and Taylor. And we have, yo, that last topic, get the phone lines all during break. They were blowing up. All during break. So we definitely got to pick that up maybe tomorrow. But right now we have a special guest in the studio. Um, For Halloween, Candace. Good morning, um, Candace. How Candace are you? Candace is a co-star of mine, as well as one of the main characters in Honky Holocaust. Honky Holocaust. Yes, I okay. actually auditioned for the role that she plays, okay. and they definitely picked her. Okay. Which tell is, me what 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 now, Candace? Do you want to tell us what Honky Holocaust is is, is all about? What is the, this uh, Honky Holocaust? This must be a very uh, non racially charged movie. Oh, actually, it's, um, it's come come right in on that, Mike. Yeah, there that. you go. There you go. It's actually an anti racial film. Is it really? Um, it is, but okay. it's told in a very unique way and method. Mm-hmm. Once uh, once Paul is here, we will definitely I'll have him describe everything about the film because only he can do it. Um, however, the role that I play is called badass black woman. And okay, I, why? Well, be careful with that. That's you sorry know, about bad, that. Bad bad a black bad woman. A okay, black woman. all right. And 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 what what essentially. Um, you know what? Tell me what what the movie's about. I mean, give me the gist of it. You don't okay. have to give me the whole so story. For but the most part, we're following um, the Manson family later on down the line once they've come out from being underground and they're trying to go in. Uh, you know, you said the Manson family. The Manson family, as in I Charles really, Manson. Yes, sir. As in Helter Skelter. Yes. Gotcha. Okay. Um, so basically, we're following the Manson family at a later point um, where they come above ground and mm-hmm. they are trying to go in and. Um, just take over, you know, like whites. Yeah, they're trying to like uh, make sure that the whites are in charge of society. Um, and they come to find out that it's actually the act, the complete opposite, where blacks have taken. Oh, so over. they've gone underground they've and they've come up like in modern times. Come up. Yes, sir. Got you. I got apologize. you. Okay, I understand. Um, okay, because I watched the trailer and I mean, I you know, it was a lot of blood and a lot there's of there's a lot of blood. You know, and then I was like, oh, this is a great Halloween yes, treat, sir. but um. So the Manson family, obviously, you know, if you know anything, Charles Manson was a uh, a kind of just a, 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 a was he a sociopath? I guess I believe back so. in the sixties. Yes, sir. Uh, and now they've, you know, he's 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 in this, according to this, he's because he's in prison right now. Yes. And uh, actually, he he was able to escape the death penalty. Did you know that? I did not. He was able to escape the death penalty um, because it was something like his crime happened in June and they implemented it in like July or something. It was okay. crazy. So he was able to escape it. But I believe he's still in jail as of right now. Okay. And so tell me the story. He, he The Manson family comes out there, um, come out of ground, and of, black people well, are running the and, country. Yes, sir. And they're, and they're okay. expecting the complete opposite. So black people are running the country. Um and it's basically we follow the character Dan Masucci um, mm-hmm. as well as Kendra M- Manson, which is uh, Charles Manson's daughter. Mm-hmm. Um, and we kind of follow them through how they accept the new societal changes. We're introduced to a lot of interesting characters, mm-hmm. um, a lot of wonderful, um, wonderful characters who find a great balance um, in order to uh, show us how society has changed. Okay. Um, uh, the uh, the uh, is this the, this gentleman here is the director? Okay, let, let me. Uh, why don't you you? Because she 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 told me the story, but she she was she wasn't well. She's an actress. Right, right, right. But you you the, you've directed this. Did you write this also? I wrote this and directed it. Correct. Okay, step right in on that, Mike. You have All to right. come in. Yep, you have to come right. in pretty pretty hot on that. Okay, so tell me about. Give me the premise of the story. The Manson family comes out of ground, as she just told us. Yeah, I mean, uh, a lot of people don't realize Manson's whole uh, mo was to start a race war. Mm-hmm. And uh, his 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 uh, prophecy was that the blacks were going to win, and eventually fall. At which time the man's feeling would come back from out of out of the bunker. You can't say black. You have to say African American. African American. I'm just messing. All with right. You. <laughs> He's like, ooh, ooh, ooh. I was like, wow. All right. <laughs> you better be politically correct up here. No. Um, so and so th- so Charles Manson comes back and black people are running the country. Right. Well, uh, his idea was that by the time he came back uh, from underground, uh, the black society will have fallen and he would be able to take over power. Our story is that he was incorrect, and the blacks don't fall. Mm-hmm. They have every every uh, inclination and and uh, ability to run the country on their own, obviously. Okay. And uh, so his 
he dies underground in a little, you know, uh, twist that I'm giving away. It's in the first minute. Yeah, I was going to say that. That's like a <laughs> spoiler alert, man. It's all right. You're, it's supposed to, the, you're supposed to save that for later. It's now, okay. In, 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 you know, what made you write this? Like, how did you come up with this this concept what, what, with, you know, with Charles Manson? He's still alive, correct? He is in real He's still life. in, 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 movie, in jail, so right? Yeah, in jail, yeah. Okay. Thank God. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, no, uh, uh, my buddy uh, Nick Norman, who actually does the director of photography work, he uh, showed me this film called uh, Goodbye, Uncle Tom which is like about these time-traveling documentarians go back to the slave era and uh, help Nat Turner pretty much um, with his uh, rebellion. Mm -hmm. And it's right, really right. gory and really bloody. And, but the main premise is they, you know, they get the slave owners back for everything that they've done. Mm. And I was watching it, and I was like, man, this is, this is really cool. Like, um, I, I like watching people like really express themselves you know, mm -hmm. through film or music right, or whatever. Right, right. Without holding back, mm -hmm. and so I was like, we should write our own. And so I like went down to the bathroom when I was there. I thought of the whole idea of this movie. Really came back. And I was like, yo, I got our next movie all set. Wow. Yeah. Oh, so this isn't your first film. This is my first feature. Oh, this is your first feature. Okay. Yeah, we've done like web series and shorts and oh, okay. uh, a whole bunch of stuff. Okay. All right. And uh, so, without giving away too much of the story, at the end, you said he ends up getting killed. Charles Manson dies in the beginning. Oh, he dies right yeah. in the beginning. The whole movie is oh, about thought... his daughter, who doesn't really exist in real life. And then oh, okay, okay. his uh, successor, who's played by uh, Lucas, who's another producer. He's on his way, actually. But, okay. uh, yeah, it's about them coming up out of the bunker and coming to terms with the fact that they were misled their whole life about everything, about race, about, you know, mm -hmm. um, like white supremacy and mm -hmm. uh, about the whole way the world works. And they come mm -hmm. back from under the ground and... Um, they all come to terms in their own ways. Most of them just fight, and then uh, Charles Mason's daughter has to come to terms with it in terms of like re like establishing her her ideals and her values and the mm -hmm. way she views different races and everything. Got you, got you. Now, uh, you said this is your first film. First feature. Uh, are yep. you are you sending it to? Uh, are you going to send it to Sundance or? Sending it everywhere. Really? Okay. <laughs> cool. Whatever we can afford. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's cool. That's cool. And and how how uh, how was it in terms of doing the production? Like what you said, this is your first time, but. How did the production go? Like, did it go smoothly? Did because I've seen some, you know, guys that have done their first films, and I, I watched the trailer, and the trailer looked pretty good. The actors look, you know, quality actors. I've seen some really bad actors, like people, you yeah. know. So, <laughs> did, how did you script the actors? Like, how did that work? Because I know Taylor was 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 she she tried to make it, but she ended up on the cutting room floor, <laughs> right? No, Taylor's you have got a, a Taylor's got a role in it. She does. She's yeah. a zombie. She is. Uh, she is a uh, black waitress one. Black Waitress <laughs> 1. Don't worry, we're giving her a real name. She just hasn't, she, her scene hasn't come up yet. Oh, okay. But, uh, but no. Um, oh, we, so this isn't done yet? This is halfway done. Oh, okay. We've okay, done all our outside okay. stuff, uh, except for some nighttime shots. Okay. We, we start up. And you're filming interior. this in Boston, completely in Boston. Yeah, unfortunately, we don't really have access to San Francisco, which is where it takes place. Oh, okay. So we're, but, we actually have film crews out there, like getting shots of the Golden Gate Bridge. Did you do any green screen stuff? No, we're trying to do 100% uh, non-CGI, mm -hmm. uh, like back to the uh, back to the basics. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's it's it really is a blessing the whole way it's coming out. It's it's been so smooth so far, you know. And and more than anything else, we have like an amazing cast, an amazing crew. Mm -hmm. uh, we couldn't do it without them. I know everyone says that, but this is like it's it seems like it's just coming like together like clockwork. Like it's serendipitous almost how people just show up at our door and they just fit exactly what role we need them to fit. Okay. It's crazy. Like. Uh, like Candace, for example, I, I I had actually had my mindset in another woman to play uh, mm -hmm. bad A black chick. Mm -hmm. I heard you on yes, the radio all the way over. Yes, thank you. Please <laughs> come on now. <laughs> and um and uh, Lucas said, no, I got this girl. She should come in and try it out. So she came in, and I was like, wow, this is amazing. Like she's perfect. And then that's just that's not the only person that's come in and, and filled the role. Um, you know, everyone that's come in and, and had a, a place in this movie has has earned it, and it's just like naturally fit to to fill that role. Now, are you you are are you a film major in school, or you this is just something that you just decided on a whim one day? You like you said you were watching the uh, this other movie, and you just decided to. Yeah, no, I um I'm a soci I was a sociology major, okay. which is why I'm so radically liberal. But okay. uh, <laughs> radically liberal. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they make they. So you're you voting for Romney, Romney, I'm assuming. Right? Oh, Romney, uh, Michelle Bachman, if she hadn't gotten kicked <laughs> out of the candidate. Uh, listen, I like Herman <laughs> Cain, Mister uh, Nine Nine Nine. Godfather's Pizza, right? <laughs> Fool. Um. And so this, you said this is your first film? Uh, yeah, it's our first feature. We did another one, uh, like a web series called uh, Super Townie. 
And uh, it's super just, super what? Super Townie. Okay, and what's it, that? That's... It's just a web series about like townies. It's it's just a comedy. So it's like YouTube stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's all townies, like bo- Boston townies. I'm yep, assuming. Yeah, uh, um, yeah, pretty much. What? Well, where did you grow up in Boston? I grew up in Melrose, just north of Boston. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so you got to meet a lot of the uh, the, the you got to hang out with some of the kids that would be townies like the Charlestown, South Boston. Oh kids yeah. And, oh okay. yeah. <laughs> Everywhere. Right. All right, so there was some. Uh, who, who this is? This gentleman gonna? What's this gentleman's name? Who, the guy someone else the, gonna? Uh, there's Mike right there. Mike, 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 come on over here, talk to us. All right, here's Mike. Mike, good morning. Hey, good morning. How are you? Good. How are What's you? your involvement in this feature film? Um, I am a producer, crew manager, and lighting director. And in lighting director? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So you wear many hats. I do wear many hats. Okay. All right. Jack of many trades. I see. All right. So. Uh, tell me, tell me what your what 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 do you like about this film? Um, I think one of my favorite parts of this film is just the collaboration, the experience, and the positivity mm-hmm. that re- that the positivity brings. of of hunky holocaust. Hunky holocaust. Tell me the positivity that comes from hunky holocaust, please, Mike. I, I'm, I'm dying to hear this. <laughs> well, I, I think the overall message of the film is very, very positive. Okay, um, it's it's. It's very anti-bigotry, and it's it's very strong. It's a very uh, sort of graphic telling of the message, but um, overall, everyone's in it because it's it's bringing it like every all these people that are working on this film are being brought together in mm-hmm. such. It's it's almost a moving way uh, that everyone is sort of working together. Mm-hmm. You know, everyone, no one's getting paid. Okay. It's a totally unpaid project, but everyone is bringing it, like bringing it hard. Mike, I, I, hard. I, okay, Mike, you can, you can stop now because I heard that you're getting the big check. Yeah. I heard that. I, I, Mike, I heard you're getting the big check. I heard that you've got the trailer with the with the leather couches, and you've got you know the the fifty two inch flat panel television. Mike, hey. yeah, you you got the, you, the the supermodels are coming to your trailer. I mean, you're, you're lying to me, Mike. Why are you lying to me, man? What's you're saying this is low budget, but all the money's going to you. I all have right. my way. Now, now tell people how how can people. Uh, Find out about this film. How can they see it when once it's completed? Where's Where's this all gonna? Well, first off, right off the bat, we're gonna have a premiere mm-hmm. at Coolidge Corner Theater, in okay. Brookline. Okay. Um, this it's open to anyone. You know, as long as you can fit in that theater, you're right. more than welcome to come. Okay. Um, and when When is that going to be? We're gonna worry about that when we're done. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So in the spirit of Halloween, we have the uh, producer, director, writer of Honky Holocaust, the story of uh, Charles Manson coming out of his bunker. In t- it's set in 2012, right? Or 2000. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so he comes day. out of his bunker. Oh, no, he, he dies in the beginning. But his daughter is, is going through trying to figure out why the world has gone all crazy and black and they were a black president which is unheard of wait no that's already happened okay um so this this is the story that 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 is is there any of that stuff in there like the president and the, and the race any of that stuff in any any of that in there anybody no. anybody no no oh, okay. not really i mean we have a character uh we have he's we have a mayor that's sort of the the head politician he's sort of running everything like menino <laughs> yeah, just a little darker skinned. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. All right. So it's a black mayor. Yes. And this is San Francisco. So yeah, yeah. Has San Francisco ever had a black mayor? I. Uh, <laughs> Mike's like, I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. <laughs> who knows if San? Who in this room? This, this, this ladies and gentlemen, there's about twenty people in the big city studios this morning. Who in here knows if San Francisco's ever had a black mayor? Anybody? Anybody? This I this I saw this gentleman in the twi- in the trailer. Didn't I see you in the trailer? No, me, me, me. Who did I see? Someone had a there was a black guy that had a big gun, a three fifty seven. Oh, that's Constantine. The uh, the actor's oh. name is Constantine. He's playing oh. the role of Lucius. 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 You Could know. you have picked in any more like <laughs> Lucius? Who picked who picked <laughs> Lucius? Really? Nice. Appalled. Nice. Lucius. All but, right. So, um, how can people find out about the movie? What's the website? What's the where do they get the information from? I don't know. Why don't we let Lucas tell us? Oh, Lucas, we got another guy here. Okay, we got the producer, we got the writer, director. Lucas, you would, would Lucas come on over here? Take those headphones, Lucas. Good morning. Good morning. How, how you doing? Today? How you doing? 
All right, okay. talk to me, Lucas. What, what? What? Now, what's your role? Um, you the caterer. I am the main villain. You're the main the villain. Movie. Also a producer, also a casting director. We all wear many hats with an independent film. Uh, Lucius, Lu, uh, Lucas, excuse no. me, I just called you Lucius. You, I'm assuming, you, you look like you could possibly be, Man- be Manson. No. No, I'm, that wasn't you? I'm, I'm his right-hand man. Oh, you're his right-hand he man. He left in charge. Okay. To and, carry and on his His legacy. Yeah. Okay. So uh, and your your role in this is your right hand man. What do you do? Like what what? what? I'm, I'm a really bad guy. You're I'm a bad basically guy. Basically trying to wipe out all the black people. Really? Overpower. You say that in the race. studio this morning with all these black <laughs> listeners. I, I nice, do, though. but that you know me me portraying my role in this movie. The better I do, and the more I'm hated, mm-hmm. it makes the positive message of the movie all okay. the more stronger. Okay. So it's all my right. job. Well, that, Lucas, that, Lucas, so that, hate me. <laughs> he say he said so. Hate me. Wow. <laughs> All right, and this is your first film? Um, no, I've worked with these guys before. Only small shorts, um, porn, right? Gotcha. No, that's some porn. Okay. No, yeah, I but I've had some offers. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's some porn. Cool, no problem. All right, midgets, no problem. I get it. I get it. I understand. I understand, Luke. All right, um, is anybody else? So who who else? Uh, are these actors? Who are, who are all these people? To, someone, someone, come talk to me. Someone, come, some, come. You, anybody, actor, anybody, director, or something? Alex Edwards, actor. Alex Edwards. Good morning, Alex. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? All right. Who do you play? I play Black Teen 4. Black what? <laughs> Black Teen 4. Black Teen? Black Teen 4. You are nobody's teen. I'm looking at you. How old are you? I asked. I did. Um, it's an interview. Unknown. Okay, unknown. All right, I'll go for that. That's fine. You play Black Teen 4, and do you, do you die in the movie? Um, I didn't die yet. You haven't died yet. Yeah, so I don't think so. I, I don't die. I'm not going to die. I'm oh, you, gonna, you don't want to die. I'm going to hold it down. I'm you're going to hold dying. it down. Black okay. Team Four is not dying. All right. No All right. RIPs. No right. funerals. You're not going to be. You're not going to be a casualty I, of the movie. After, after once the movie's done, I have to come back in and do another interview. So I'm not dying. Okay. All right. All right. I, 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 Black I, Team Four. Black so you didn't even have a name yet. I didn't make a name up yet. G- yeah, bro. Guess what? You going to die. Gonna, <laughs> you ain't got no name, man. Yeah, you like table you six. Credit's gonna say table six is gonna get four. flipped over when the bar fight starts. You like table six? Listen, here's the scene. Table six gets flipped because someone punches somebody else. You're like table six, man. You're gone. Guy, I'm sorry. table six dies. I'm sorry. You're okay. gonna get it in the chest. You, uh, you Maybe. Script, then. Uh, I, I, do you really? You get it in the chest? Seriously? Nah. Oh, <laughs> I was like, oh man, you get it in the chest? Wow. All right, well, guys, thank you so much for coming in and talking about this film. Halloween, tell people, what's the, what's the website where people can get the information or, or see the trailer? Is it YouTube? Uh, someone come over and, and some, someone come over and you know it. Bloody Hammers Films. Bloody Hammers. Films. Com. Y'all are crazy. All of y'all are crazy. Bloody Hammer Films. Bloody Hammer Film. Dot com. And th- th- the reason why th- these, these cast members are here and then producers and writers, et cetera, is because Taylor is, Taylor plays black girl. Black waitress, she's dead too. She's gonna die. I'm gonna tell you right now, I know she's gonna I, as a matter of fact, as as her as as the, the, the morning show host, I want her to die. Cause she can't be out late, she gotta be here in the morning. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thanks so much for coming in this morning for Halloween. Ladies and gentlemen, black bl- excuse me, not black hammer. What is it? Bloody hammer? Bloody hammers. Bloody him. See, you 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 definitely gonna die. You can't even remember your lines, man. You dead. You already I already know what you dead. Well we definitely appreciate um Big Cities for allowing us to come out here. No doubt, no doubt. Really, we, appreciate, really, we appreciate we appreciate you guys. The being support here. Boston. Come check us out in Coolish Corner once it's done. Yes, it'll be done and when when it's done we'll have you guys come back and you you know, you can tell people, invite people to the uh to the uh premiere. Can't wait. That's what it is. All right, good light morning show, Big City one oh one point three FM. It's called, it's called Big City Radio. What? what? Big City Radio. Why don't you come trick-or-treating with us? Trick-or-treat! Come on, give us some candy. <laughs> it's like um, a lot of people, they drive down the highway, you know, it's, um, it's been a, a big car accident. It's um, a morbid result out, out on the highway. Their body might have fell through a window and his arm and leg is there. That they they hate it. It's, it's scary and hateful. They, they don't want to see it, but still they're gonna slow down and look. 
Pac the Holocaust is that. It's that. It's that morbid fascination, just like the dead body you want to s slow down and see on the highway. 